Welcome back. We are moving on with lesson seven, uh, learning about frogs. And I need you to uh, open up your student reader to chapter nine, the poison dart frog. You will also need your note sheet that we started in chapter eight. So this is the second text that we'll be looking at. When we're finished with these two texts, Tomorrow, we're going to be comparing and contrasting these two texts. So looking how they are alike, these two frogs, how they are alike and how they are different. So get your pencil in hand, your reader in front of you, following along as I read and reading as many of the words with me as you can. And then we're going to add some notes to poison dart frogs. Here we go. A poison dart frog lives in the rainforests of South America. It is a tiny frog. It is only an inch and a half long. It is cute, but it would be a mistake to pet this frog. Frogs like this one secrete poison. That means the poison seeps out from its skin. Some poison dart frogs secrete a mild poison. Others secrete a poison that is strong enough to kill humans. The poison helps protect the frog. It tells other animals to leave the frog alone. The native people of South America collected poison from this kind of frog. They dipped darts into the poison. Then they used blow guns to fire poisoned darts at their enemies. This is why the frogs are called poison dart frogs. I never knew that. Many poison dart frogs are brightly colored. You might think this would be a dangerous trait. After all, many animals are camouflaged. Their camouflage helps them hide from predators. Why then would an animal be brightly colored? Why would it stand out? Wouldn't that make it, a e wouldn't it make it easy for predators to spot? And there's a poison dart frog on page 75 sapphire blue species of poison dart, fro dart frog. So what are uh, two things that we could write down? What do you think we're going to write down for our notes for poison dart frog? If you said secrete poison, which means um, the poison seeps out of its skin, it comes through its pores, and bright colors. Those were the two most important things on these pages, the main ideas. Let's go on to page 76 and 77. You're listening for two important facts that we should write down, two big ideas. Scientists think that is precisely the point. They have noted that many poisonous animals are brightly colored. They think the color serves as a warning sign. It tells other animals, watch out, you don't want to eat me, I will poison you. Poison dart frogs are amphibians. That means they live in water and on land. Poison dart frogs lay eggs. The female lays the eggs in a moist spot. Then the male fertilizes the eggs. Eventually, tadpoles hatch out of the fertilized eggs. Very sim it's all, all the frogs have the same life cycle that we already learned about. Some amphibians lay a lot of eggs and leave the young to fend for themselves. Poison dart frogs are not like that. They are dedicated parents. The adult frogs carry their newly hatched tadpoles up into the canopy or tops of trees above the rainforest. They carry the baby tadpoles on their backs one at a time. The parents secrete sticky mucus. This sticky mucus keeps the tadpoles from falling off the parents' backs during the climb up the canopy. That's very interesting to me because I thought um, that tadpoles needed to be in the water to survive. And um, yeah, so one of the important things to write down is amphibians. and they carry tadpoles up into the trees. Let's turn to pages 77 and 78, sorry, 78 and 79. Here we're listening for three facts that we wanna write down, three main ideas. 
For many species, the mothers do much of the child care. That is not true of the poison dart frogs. Mothers and fathers both take care of the young. Moms and dads both carry the tadpoles up in the canopy. The parents deposit the tadpoles in small pools of water that form in plants at the top of the canopy. That answers Mrs. Goshert's question. Remember, I was wondering because tadpoles need water to live. There we go. They carry them to small pools of water that form in plants at the top of the canopy. The tadpoles live in these pools for a while. They breathe underwater using gills. They eat tiny animals that live in the water. If there is not enough food, the mother may lay eggs in the pool. The tadpoles can eat the eggs. Eventually, the tadpoles experience a metamorphosis or change. They grow legs, they develop lungs, they change into frogs. Once this happens, they are ready to leave the water. The habitat of the poison dart frog is under threat. It is threatened by logging and farming. That means it's in danger. If trees are cut down, these frogs have nowhere to live. In recent years, lots of trees have been cut down in South America. Some people cut them down to sell the wood. Some cut them down to set up farms. As a result of this tree cutting, some kinds of poison dart frogs are now endangered. And there's a picture of a strawberry poison dart frog. So there were three main ideas on these pages. The first one is that mom and dad take care of the young. It's not just mom's job. The next thing is tadpoles live in water collected on plants. And last, their habitat is in danger. So go ahead and write down those facts on your paper. And then you will be submitting your paper to me to, so that I can check and make sure that you have all the information that you need.